welcome yeah. to the welcome to the block party with Seth Kushner today. I am joined by he's a household name. He's a lightning superstar. Even though he's probably going to be modest about it, Yanni Gord. Welcome to the show, man. Hey, thank you for having me. Listen, I, I got to know top question. Do you like the the t-shirts? Oh my gourd! And if so, how many do you own? Um, honestly, uh, I do like it. I don't mind it at all. Uh, I think it first came up when I was uh, in Syracuse. Someone uh, added the sign, uh, uh, "Oh my gourd," and uh, it started uh, to to uh, carry on, and until uh, they got I got to the NHL, and uh, and they made a shirt for it, and it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool, honestly. What was it like to have your own shirt as soon as you got to the NHL? Yeah, it's pretty special. I mean, I didn't expect that at all. And, uh, uh, yeah, I think um, it, uh, it kind of, I don't know, it, it, like I said, it, when I got to the NHL, it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was coming from Syracuse. But then I had a few good games. I scored an OT winner against uh, Chicago. And all of a sudden, the uh, thing uh, started to uh, – uh, I guess uh, those T-shirts got uh, were being made, so it's pretty funny. Now, did they give you some, or did they make you buy some at a at a team discount? <laughs> uh, no, they uh, they gave me they gave me a ton. I uh, I brought a few home and I gave it to my family. Okay, I got to so every, go ahead. Everybody back home has a has a T-shirt. Oh my god! Because <laughs> I told my I told my wife like she's a Lightning fan. I mean she she won't ever listen to this podcast. But I said she goes, who are you interviewing today? And I said Yanni Gord, and she she goes, oh my Gord, you know. And she's just she's she's just your average kind of fan. But I think people know you just from that. So you know, I I figured yeah. that that can't be a bad thing. Now you, you have a two year old daughter, Emma, right? Yes. Okay, so I I have a three year old daughter. I want to know what is, what's the worst TV show or the worst thing that your daughter's into that you have to watch with her uh it's it's gotta be uh a youtube uh, channel or whatever uh, like videos it's called baby louis it's in french and she just loves watching it and you just i feel like it's always on tv i'm like oh my god not again like and i can hear this little guy just like uh talking and like doing like the singing and stuff i'm like oh again but yeah, that's that's probably uh, the worst one we got. That's the worst. I I found that most of the stuff on YouTube is highly annoying. I've tried to put a, a full ban on YouTube in the house because I think all the 100%. videos are awful. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but they learn a lot from that, though. They uh, like she picks up so much from that, and it's quite impressive. But because uh, me and Marie would look at each other, did you taught her that or no? So she probably picked it up from from one of those, of those uh, YouTube uh, videos, oh, yeah. which is pretty nice, yeah. You watching any Disney movies? You into Frozen yet? Yes, we, uh, we did quite a lot, quite a lot. <laughs> Are you, can you tolerate that? Yes, that's fine. I actually, uh, I actually watch, like I like, I enjoy watching them. I, uh, we're, let's say we're, we're having dinner and then I, 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 most of the time I peek at the TV just to see what's, what's happening, even though, I exactly I know exactly what's gonna happen, but I just I it's it's I just I just enjoy it. <laughs> no, little little girls are the best in the things they're into. So I like I told you at the start of this, I interviewed uh, Braden Coburn Kobe the other day, and I asked him. I said, "Who was kind of the guy that gave you the welcome back hit?" And he said that Yanni Gord is like a no see him. He goes, you can't kill him. You can't like swat him away from you. The guy's on you at all times. Do you, do you feel like, did you feel like it was kind of your job to welcome everybody back? And, and I want to know who was the guy that gave you the welcome back hit? Um, I, I probably Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, uh, me and Kobe, uh, love battling each other and, uh, and it's it's so funny because he's a pretty big uh, human, and uh, I go against him. And uh, no, I, I I enjoy battling with uh, with uh, with those guys. And uh, Kobe's so strong, and uh, it's it, it's fun. I it's it's part of my job. It's part of uh, who I am as a player, and uh, I love doing it. And uh, and uh, I like Kobe because he uh, he pushed back too. So uh, so it's it's fun. Who's your favorite guy to go against other than Kobe? Uh, I actually lately it's been Bogosian. Uh, me and Bogo are going at it pretty, uh, pr pretty rough. It, it's it. You love the big fun. boys, don't you? I. It, it looks like it. It looks that way. Huh? <laughs> 
So are you excited for, uh, this podcast is going to come out in about a couple weeks, but you guys have a scrimmage later on today. How excited are you for that? Yeah, that's going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be good to fill the puck five on five, kind of, uh, have a little bit open eyes and, uh, trying to make plays. Uh, obviously we haven't been in those situations that much lately. So it's going to be fun to, uh, to, to play some uh, five on five hockey kind of get a feel for the game, uh, the intensity, physicality. So those are all things that I look forward in that in this scrimmage. I know you were mic'd up the other day. Do you feel a lot of pressure when you're mic'd up? And did you did you watch the video? Were you happy with your performance? Uh, honestly, I felt I was quite annoying <laughs> <laughs> for for my teammate. I was like, oh my goodness, sorry boys. I Am I always like that? And they all like, yeah, you're pretty much always like that. And I'm like, oh. I feel bad for you guys. <laughs> uh, so first thing I did was apologize to my teammate, basically. <laughs> and uh, but no, I had uh, quite a few good response from that, and guys, guys liked it, I guess. Uh, and and fans, I think fans kind of um, kind of get to know me a little bit in those in those video. And uh, yeah, no, it's it, it's good. I I'm. It, it wasn't just a one-time thing. It, I'm most of the time I'm I'm like this on the ice, and uh, and I enjoy myself on the ice. It's it's something I love to do, it, playing hockey, and and I try to get the most of it every time I, I step on it. So uh, um, it, it really looks like Yanni Gord on the, the video. It's <laughs> it's pretty much me. Yeah. Who who's the best trash talker on the team? Is it you? No, I'm definitely terrible at it. Um, uh, no, I'm bad at it. I don't know who would be. Uh, I don't are, know. Who are the guys in the NHL that talk trash to you? Because it seems like you get under people's skin, guys get under your yeah. skin. Who, who's somebody yeah, that can really, um, really get you going? I, I had some good battles with uh, Lemieux from uh, New York Rangers. He probably uh, – uh, I don't think he likes me. Um, I, I, I think he's not a fan of me. Um, uh, there's, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, there's, I try to get under everybody's skin most of the time because that's kind of part of my game and, uh, uh it, it gets me going too. So what do you say? I don't how know do you, what I say. I, just, skin? I honestly, there's not much I say. It's more the way I play and the way I, I do things that kind of annoy people. And, uh, I'm trying to be in everyone's face every time. So uh it's kind of the way i play it's not really what i say or what i it's more like what i do and uh, it kind of that's more like it i think At, now after a fight i feel like i've seen you do this more than anybody when you guys are being separated it seems like you are still always yelling at the guy that you just fought can you guys hear each other when you're in the you know separate penalty boxes or is it just a bunch of yelling and pointing at that at that point uh more yelling and i probably don't even know what i'm saying at that point i'm just so I'm fired up I'm, I, I don't, yeah i'm fired up i'm rattled i don't know what like the situation depends on what the situation was but uh there's not much uh yeah probably just some tons of screaming and like go pointing at each other and we're going again and stuff <laughs> like that but like most of the time it doesn't happen so it's, you it's fine it, it could Yanni, what'd you do during quarantine? Because you seem like the kind of guy that's always got to stay busy. That's always got to like, I feel like maybe you'd have to go spar somebody or something, you know, while you were at home for a few months. What did you do to kind of get all that energy out? Um, I built a few stuff. I, um, I built an accent wall in my daughter's uh, room. I built a bench uh, in the living room, uh, in the dining room um, a fire pit outside. So I, I've been uh, busy wow. that way. I've, I'm kind of, um, I, yeah, so I, I love doing that stuff and it keeps me busy. So that was the uh, first part of quarantine. I, I just uh, started, uh, Marie, Marie just giving me a to-do list and I was just doing it all and, and it, it kept me busy, but I, obviously it was, a, I was doing a ton with Emma and, and, uh, playing with her cause we, uh, we don't get to spend that much time with, uh, with the family when, uh, when the regular season is on. And, uh, so we, uh, we uh, enjoyed that a lot, and it, it, it was fun. It was good to uh, to uh, to to be at home twenty four seven. Like I said, we haven't been doing that a lot in uh, in my career. When do you decide when you're going to have the mustache, and when do you decide that you know it's not going to happen at all? Because obviously, playoff time, playoff beard. I heard Mack Trucks got some Minnesota hair that's flowing right now. Um, I can't tell if you've got the mustache. Is it? Do you, 
You gotta I know, look. it's it's quite tiny. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm um, I'm uh, I'm gonna start growing pretty soon though, because I don't want to like uh, like be the the one guy that has no hair on, uh, which is probably gonna look like that a little bit for a while. Can you can you grow uh, a beard, or you can just grow the stash? It's, no, it's a little bit of beard, but not much. Honestly, I'm probably uh, no. It's not gonna look good. I'll tell you that right now. It's not gonna look good. Uh, but uh, at least we're gonna be away from our family, so uh, I won't get uh, comments from my wife every day. Hey, you look terrible. You know, what? what you yeah. Need to shave this. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what she says about that? Because I I don't feel like anybody wears I don't feel like anybody wears a mustache a mustache seriously. Like I, my wife finds good. it disgusting. No. So your wife yeah, says the no. same thing. No, my like she doesn't care that much. But uh, uh, when I once I shave, she's like, "Yeah, you look so much better now." But she won't. Uh, she she's not gonna be on me every day about it. No, that. It seems like it annoys your teammates more than anybody else. I see on your Instagram, you post a picture with your daughter, Sergachev, Johnny. Everybody's making fun of your mustache. That's not the right time to do that. No, I, I mean I love that mustache. It looked great on me. I thought it was uh, it was a nice touch. Uh, yeah, my my daughter was laughing too when I shaved. She's like, "Where's mustache?" Like she's like pointing. I'm like, "Yeah, it's gone. It's gone, Emma." But, <laughs> but it'll come uh, back. Then, yeah, yeah, definitely soon. Uh, listen, I want to know what was your what was your welcome to the NHL moment? It, did it happen when you got called up and you were around some of the guys on the Lightning? Did it happen during a game? What was your moment where you go, "Wow, I'm actually I'm I'm in the NHL right now." First, you can't go. First game is pretty special. I mean, uh, uh, first time you step on the ice, uh, it's pretty special in the NHL, especially when you, the first few stride you take uh, ends up uh, being a penalty on you. So uh, I uh, I went in the penalty box because I uh, had an interference call on the cadre. So uh, I thought that was my last few stride on, on the NHL surface. I thought Coop was just going to bench me the rest of the game uh, after that. So, no, but uh, seriously, uh, I think first game is, is it's pretty special. Uh, first goal is, like, uh, um, also really, really nice. Uh, it was on the PK against uh, Florida. I think it was, like, maybe 10 games uh, into my – uh, NHL career and uh, it was it, those moments are pretty special and like I said the OT winner against Chicago when we were down I think three four goals and then we came back in the third period and we scored in o overtime it was uh, also a big uh, big night for me how much how much hockey memorabilia do you do you save how many pucks have you saved do you have any sticks from either you know yourself or guys you've competed against I don't save that much um, whatever they put in my stall and say hey that's a uh, that's your hundred point. I'll be like, oh, that, thank you. I, I didn't quite know. Uh, no, I'm. I, I, I don't save that much. Um, uh, I got a few stick here and there. I got. Uh, I, I got my favorite point. Uh, my favorite uh, player stick, uh, which is Braden Point. Uh, it's in my garage back home, and uh, it's. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that that one for a long time. Yeah. Are there any guys? Are there any guys in the scrimmage today that? I know the guys you like to go up against, but any guys that you're kind of not really allowed to go too hard up against and kind of let them skate around and, and not have too much contact? Um, I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm not going to go out there and crush people and, <laughs> and uh, it'd be too annoying, but I'm definitely going to go out there and try to find my game uh, and try to do the best I can uh, to, to, to get better. Uh, and sometimes it because it's a scrimmage. Sometimes you have to lay it off a little bit, uh, but um, but no, I, I'm it's it's I'm going out there for me too. Like I'm going out there to to get a feel, get a a good uh, uh, feel of where my game is right now and uh, where it needs to be. So um, that's that's probably my main priority. So uh, yes, yeah, sometimes I'm I might have to lay off a little bit, but um, uh, most of the time I'll I'll I'll, I'll uh, I'll work hard and, and do me, basically. All right, now I got to know. I'm sure you saw that. Please give me your honest critique of, uh, of Killer's video that he put together with some of your teammates. And, and tell me uh, who you could have done a better job than, Yanni. I, I watched it a few times, but uh, I don't know. I, th I, I think it looked good. I think you guys did a really good job on, on the video. And um, 
it was pretty funny that they uh, they were pushing people in, in the water too at some point uh, uh no it, they they did a really good job i was quite impressed by it by the whole uh the whole video the whole product who, who had the standout performance i i talked to kobe and i thought i was really impressed with his wood chopping skills kobe is so funny like the the like whatever he does like he always like thinks outside the box like people would never think of stuff like he does and and it i i love kobe's uh like his jokes and 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 stuff and and i think he's so funny did you know that he did that he changes his shirt and his socks and everything during in between each period did you know that he has that kind of superstition yeah i mean his bag is like everybody's bag is like tiny like and his is like just massive and and you look at it like there's like 25 pairs of socks, white socks in there, like long. And then like you, you see him in between periods, just rushing like up and down, like getting socks and like stuff. And you're like, oh my God, like this is a workout. Like just settle down in between periods. Like, uh, no, he, he, uh, I, I heard I noticed that he, he, he's done that. He's done that for a while. I heard that they have to actually leave two players behind and instead of going to the bubble because they have to bring all of Kobe's socks and T-shirts to Toronto. So. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked, honestly. I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> Do you have any superstitions or anything like that? Or you, you're, you're not as crazy as Kobe is? I'm not as crazy as Kobe. Um, I... Uh, I do think a certain way, but I, it's not that much uh, superstition. Uh, um, Sometimes I'm trying to, like, oh, I had uh, this meal and I had a good game, so let me try it again. But it's just like it, it, you're you're getting in a circle where like it doesn't really end, and and it's it's tough to uh, to really focus and like you're it, you. You don't have to pay too much attention to to it because, like, sometimes it's just gonna bite you in the ass, and I that that's what I'm trying to to get away from. Uh, obviously, a lot of guys um, have a ton of super, uh, superstition, and and it's fine. Like they they uh, they do whatever they want, but uh, for me, I'm I'm trying to stay a little bit away from uh, from having too much too many. And Yanni, just one last question: How 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 do you? What's your sense of how the team's feeling heading into the bubble and knowing that you know you're you're picking right back up with with your goal for the start of the year to to bring the Stanley Cup back to Tampa? I think right now the camp is going very well. I think guys are in shape. Guys look good on the ice. Guys look fast. Where uh, we noticed that like everyone was like, oh my god, like I I. I haven't felt that good in, in a while. And like, there's a lot of guys that I've talked to are like that. And it just brings the, that confident vibe that uh, um, when you're on the ice, you're going to make plays. And it, it's very interesting and it's going to be fun. Uh, and I think guys are, are ready to play hockey and ready to get back in, in, uh, in the, the game and uh, in the playoff. And I think it's going to be really fun to, to go to the bubble and, and play some hockey and, uh, and have fun. Uh, obviously, there's some uh, uh, restriction and, and, and stuff that we protocol that we need to follow. But um, I think uh, the best part is that we're going to play hockey and and uh, and uh, the NHL and the NHLPA made it happen. And I think we're, we're grateful for that. Yanni, listen, man, we're, we're rooting for you. I'm obviously a big fan. You're a huge part of what the Lightning are doing. And uh, I really, really enjoyed the conversation today. Good luck, man. We're rooting for you. Th thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hey, member, ban YouTube, okay? <laughs>